Okay, welcome back to another Vintage League, and I have another donation deck list in front of me. Uh, Chalked wanted to see how the new Hex Drinker Canister um, Hogak Vine deck did with, instead of Hex Drinker, playing Allosaurus Shepherd as your ma one mana green creature. Um, the theory would be that uh, Collector Oof and Force of Vigor are your most important spells against... Um, some of the deck's harder matchups, and maybe playing Shepard will let you play them uncounterably, uh, which could be a powerful thing. Obviously, you lose out on Hex Drinker's ability to, you know, beat removal or stall stalled board states. Um, but what we're going to do is, instead of playing the Deathrite Shamans in the board, I'm going to put the Hex Drinkers in the board. I haven't even gotten enough reps with Hex Drinker myself to know how good it is exactly, so I think it's fine to... Um, we'll try both of them in this league, and we'll see how they do against the matchups where they're... Um, supposed to be relevant so yeah so this if you haven't already seen this deck there was a recent video i posted it was like called new bizarre deck or something similar to that um and you can check out a little bit more gameplay of that this deck in that video uh basically you're playing a bunch more crazy mana producing lands like yavamaya and gaia's cradle uh in a kind of a somewhere between a hogak and a squeeze shell uh and that way you can actually cast collector roof on turn two after playing your bizarre on turn one so the, the common play pattern might be uh, activate Bazaar, put in some Root Wallas and Hollow Ones, and then on turn two, you can use Cradle to play Collector Roof, or you can use Yavamaya to tap Bazaar and Yavamaya to play Collector Roof. And that's the whole idea. So we're going to just jump right into a league and, and try to battle with this uh, deck. Thank you to Chonky for the donation. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below, where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Here we go, round one with our Hogak deck. Let's battle. This hand doesn't cast Magic the Gathering cards, Mulligan. This hand doesn't really cast Magic the Gathering cards either. I'm going to powder it. I guess we'll keep a strip mine in the deck. I don't know if it matters very much. Uh, okay, keep. So any root walla or hollow one brings back oh that actually technically works. Uh, uh, probably worth it. Bump that root walla, baby. <laughs> Get in there. Okay, Bizarre Mirror, and we have turn two Besage you off of Yavamaya, which is sick. Let's see which kind of deck they're on. They're on Dredge. All right, so I get to go. This is so good. Holy crack. <laughs> crack? <laughs> Holy crack. <laughs> Uh, they do have Bridge from Below, Icarid, Golgari, Grave Troll, though. I don't know. They hit double Narcomipa. <laughs> All right. Well, it was good for a second. They have double Bazaar? All right. We okay, opponent. Okay, I see you. Oh, my lord. What is this nonsense? <laughs> oh, dredge players. All right, well, my opponent outplayed me. Let's bring in four Surgical, four Endurance, and then... Do we think that... Well, Collector Roof is garbage. Do we think that Allosaur Shepherd is good here? Not really. Maybe we'll just play a Hex Shrinker. I guess we don't care about Vigor either, right? So we could just bring in the Hex Drinkers. Maybe we leave in a Vigor. 
Well, Vigor kills Hollow One. It doesn't really matter that much, though. This seems fine. <laughs> All right. I kind of liked our starting hand, too. It's kind of sad. Um, This one's probably not good enough, even though we have all the dredge hate in the world. Well, if we hit exactly a green producing land off of our once upon a time, we can just play a hex drink. <laughs> I don't think this is what we want to be doing. Me? Mm. No, this hand doesn't beat a hollow. Well, it does beat a hollow on. It has a vigor. Hmm. Am I allowed to keep this? <laughs> I feel like it's close. I kind of... I, I'm going to try keeping this. I think it's actually keepable. It's probably bad, but I want some science. Sure. You got it. Oh, I hit the Wasteland. So I can either take Yavamaya or the Wasteland. I'm just going to take the Wasteland. And go Wasteland Surgical and then Surgical a Dredger or something. If they have a hollow one, we can vigor the hollow one in the ley line. Sure. I probably have to hit the Icarid too, right? Can't really let them bring back a prized amalgam. So, if I hit the Stinkweed Imp, is that good? Or should I just draw step, hit their Bazaar? Endurance after... Sur I think I just surgical all their stuff and they can't play the game, right? Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, maybe I could just biz surgical bizarre and then have endurance them instead. That's that's pretty fair. All right, so now after draw my surgical bazaar. So now what do they have to do? They have to they have to dredge like a narcomoeba. It's like, oh, that's it, right? Just dredging Narcomoebas and dredging chills. So if I hit Narcomoeba, then they can't play. I think if I just hit Narcomoeba, they can't play anymore.
this, I guess, leaves me open to getting Contagion, but I don't think I care. I had one Contagion, right? Is it better to just play the Endurance? Probably. I guess it doesn't really change very much, huh? I just thought I'd like to hold open endurance, but I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm, maybe I was supposed to. I don't know. I don't think I'm playing this correctly. I kind of stopped thinking. Okay. Um, I I had the one force of vigor for their hollow one was kind of kind of sus. I did just keep a no lander and we did win. I felt like that hand was pretty close to keepable, so I didn't think it was that bad. It's actually really interesting how good a single a single surgical can be against dredge these days. This one, I don't think my hand is good enough for a single surgical. No waste. No endurance. No bizarre. I'm just gonna powder this. This one has a waste and an endurance and a once upon a time. This one's probably fine. They mold a three? They mold a two? They mold a one? Okay. Don't think my dredge player... Oh, they found a bizarre on one. Okay. Did they hit a dredger? No dredger. All right, so they're they're pretty dead. Yeah, I'll take a bizarre. Why not? Yeah. Okay. We did the thing there for sure. Okay, round two. Uh, I am going to powder. I lose out on a lot of good cans, but keep. All right, what do you got for us, Jonathan M? We've got a lizard army here. Okay, Jet and Saga. Show me Saga. Saga, 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 Saga. Do it, do it, do it. You won't. What say you, Jonathan? Okay. Deathrite Shaman. Hmm. All right, all right. <laughs> I 
<laughs> uh, yeah, would be good. I'm going to do one green in case um, Hogak. Nice death right shaman. Have you tried giving it haste? This is the only time I'm going to use the graveyard the whole match. All right, I accept. Please give me an elemental vine. Such a cool card. Like this card. How do you, bug player, beat a vine? Yeah, it's also like less good when it's by itself, right? You want to have multiple. Three two. I think I I think it should have been a four one. I don't know. I think Golos shops just works. None of the cards that I was interested in I learned anything about though, so We definitely won a game because I put the Bajuka Bog in the deck though, Slasher. I definitely like that. But I still have no idea if Karn Silex is good. Uh oh. That's rude. What if I wanted to draw cards? Black Lotus? Typical bug player. This was a free Narset. I am a little too antsy for this. Can't we just play magic? My opponent could play an Oko here. That would be quite hard for us to beat. Oko, make death right. Oh, black mana, demonic tutor maybe? Okay. And then what? And then what? Tarmogoyf? Tarmogoyf's only gonna be a... Uh... Oh, Time Walk. Sure. Oh, Ancestral. They have a death rate? They don't have a death rate, they just lose their Narsa. There's so many Moxen. There's only, there's only, there's not that many Moxen in these stupid decks. I swear. I think I want to hold everything. Interesting. So. I think I want to do this, right? I'm just going to play my Allosaurus Shepherd and then pump my Rootwalla. Hit them for five and the Narset. They're just off it? I don't want to see what I'm going to draw. I can't see what I'm going to draw because there's a Narset in play. Okay. Um, all right. So against Bug, I'm going to bring in the Hex Drinkers. 
and the endurances. Do I need vigors at all? Can I take? Can I play shepherds too? I feel like I have like all these cards are just not good. Like we don't really care about. Just bringing a forest. We just don't. We just don't play these eight cards. So I think this is just fine. Interesting. It's an interesting mapping. I guess in this situation, my shepherd makes my hex drinker uncounterable, which does sound good, actually. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. This mapping is very, very interesting. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> we have a lot more green creatures. I guess we don't have a lot more. We have eight more. No, we have four more because four oof went out. Weird. Okay. It is part of the cycle, though. Not me. <laughs> all right. My opponent has probed me and knows all. Should I? Should I? I don't know. I was, I was just going to hold on to this once upon a time until my turn. I don't care. <laughs> that, is, that is like the most not me thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't care about magic. I only care about magic. Man, if I hit a root, if I hit a Vengevine here. I think I need all of these Allosaur Shepherds. Obviously, I am exposing myself to Tabernacle, but I don't know if that matters very much. I think I would rather have the Hollow One in play, being a jerk, than uh, worry about Tabernacle here. Hmm. So, what is going to happen now? This kind of feels like Oko. Oh. Okay. So, if I were to endurance, I might be able to get that at some point. Feels possible. Is this an assassin's trophy? Okay. Have the forest. We'll travel. Man. Hmm. 
think I just want to play a shepherd and then pass. So if I were to endurance my graveyard here, I would end up with a creature, an instant, a sorcery, and a land. So it would still be a 4-5. So it doesn't really help me very much, huh? Hmm. Uh-oh. That is quite a few Tarmogoyfs, which are... Where are my Hex Drinkers? Where are my Hex Drinkers? Um... I guess we'll take one here. So now, though, if I do a land... Ooh, that's a good one. So now if I were to do an uncounterable endurance... Can I... Can I it's a, only going to be a 3-4. So this might actually work out. Maybe it's still better to just play the Vungevine this turn, though. They just shrunk it themselves. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you can play Minx and Boo in Four Color Walkers and Oath. And Rug. I think it's totally playable. And I don't think four is too much. Like, you're kind of limited to only playing one or two copies because of the four mana cost, but I think it's totally good. I haven't played it yet because I don't have any. I have to probably borrow some for a stream. Maybe tomorrow night we'll stream and we'll borrow some Minx, Minx and Boo. I think it's totally playable. It's like one of the best Planeswalkers ever printed, right? So. What is going on? Did they accidentally concede? Like, what's happening? Like, I think I'm going to win this game, yes. But, like, what's, ha what's going on? They messed up by shrinking the goy, but, like, I don't think it's a big deal. Like, you're still fine. Unless you know my hand. I don't know. Maybe they. I mean, maybe they realized they were playing bug and they didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> I can. I can understand that. All right, here we go. Round three. We got turn one Tinker, who doesn't always cast turn one Tinker. It's very, very misleading. I like to dredge a lot, but sometimes they cast turn one Tinker, and then I'm like, "Well, I thought you were going to be dredging." Alright, I don't know. I don't know about this hand. I kind of think it's Garbo. I'll powder it. Alright, I'm gonna powder this. Keep. What do you got for me today, turn one Tinka? All right, they've mulliganed to five cards. Now what? Now where are we? What's happening? I don't know what's happening and neither does chat. Hey chat, what's happening? Okay, here we go, we're playing magic. 
That's what's happening. What do you got for us? Tropical Island. Fast Bond? Fast Bond. Okay. Okay. But what are you doing? Where does this get you? Please supply me with... Oh my lord. I would like to create one lizard army, please. The cool part is if we draw Vine next turn, we can actually use our cradle to play Shepherd Oof. <laughs> Yeah, we serum powdered. Very fair and balanced magic cards. All right. What is Tinka doing? What Crop rotting? Okay. Or what are we crop rotting for? Bizarre? Dark Depths? Glacial Chasm? I mean, Tabernacle, yeah. I guess that would be pretty good. Rest in peace, my Gaia's Cradle. <laughs> Uh, I could have played around this, but I don't really know if it's, like, even that bad for me. My opponent's using a crop rot to get a tabernacle at this point in the game. I'm not really sure. It's super bad. I do not love serum powder. Not a fan. Um... So I guess if I get wastelanded here, I lose my shepherd. But again, this doesn't feel like a terrible thing. Maybe I should have played around crop rot tab, but then they would just crop rot for something good. I guess I gave them a mana by playing my Yavamaya here. Maybe that was bad. I guess I could see that as being bad, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I don't like the way I played this game. So what does my what does my opponent do? What does their deck do? How do they win? Is it 2020s? Is it crab bond? To get hedron crabbed out of this game? Saga? That doesn't seem very good. What are we waiting on? Ah, they had the Wasteland. So are, are they going to hit my Yavamaya? No, they hit my Bazaar. Fair. Blue cards to play Force. Interesting. Hmm. I kind of think I want to stop paying for my stuff. I just don't know if I want to hit this Tabernacle now. I don't think so. I think that's okay if they have another green mana. I guess it's not okay if they play like a Corsair of Crufix or something, but... Um, I just think I'd like to stop paying for everything. Probably play like... So I can play like Shepherd Cradle Once Upon a Time or something like that. I guess my opponent, if I do this, they can rotate into something. But I think they could always have done that, really, so... I don't know if that matters very much. Okay, they didn't have rotate. So here we play Shepherd, and then we play Cradle, and then we play Rootwalla and Shepherd. Wait, we're just gonna kill them with a wait a second. 
If we have one more mana, we can just activate and kill them. Almost. They go to one. <laughs> We're so close to activating Triple Shepherd. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> We're elves now. Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh, no. I got besieged. Oh, man. They got us. <laughs> got them back, I guess. Just saga things. Just saga things. <laughs> uh, there's a saga, baby. That's the one. Oh, loam. All right. They're going to get Tabernacle Wasteland and kill me. That's bad. So if I wait one turn to play this Black Lotus. No, no, no. They can they can go besiege you. So I have to play this now. I'm going to lose this game. That's crazy. I'm going to get Loam locked. Damn it. <laughs> wow. I, I didn't think we could lose this game, but we're going to get loam locked. Wow. That's really frustrating. Okay. That's pretty sad. All right, well, we get to bring in some good cards. I actually don't really think we're a Vigor. I think we're going to do the thing we did versus Bug. Oh, I did the wrong things. And then we'll play some more Surgicals, maybe. I feel like we want surgicals, but maybe we don't need them with endurances. Maybe we can just trim powders here because we don't want to like, go crazy. Maybe this is not what we want to be doing. Hmm, I don't know. That was super sad. I don't really know if I could have done much better. Like, the only thing I could really have done in that game was, like, wait one turn to do the Root Wallas, right? But even then, they had Beseju and Waste and Crop Rot. Like, I feel like I was too many, they had too many things. The problem with Fast Bond is you can't really beat Blue Decks. But the good part about the Fast Bond deck is you beat the shit out of Bazaar and Shops. Um, damn. I'm trying to figure out how I could have played game one to make that have worked out for us. Why do I have three Yavamayas in my hand? Okay, well. Now I just have nothing of anything. I guess I shouldn't have taken out the powders. <laughs> what is happening? All right. Somehow I ended up here where I'm just going to be extremely unhappy, I think. I 
I can't imagine that I come out of this game and I'm going to have a happy outcome. What do I do? What do I do? I could theoretically hold Wasteland Hollow One, but I can't actually get them both into play on the next turn anyways. I'm just gonna play Hollow One Lotus, I guess. I'm not really sure. I don't really think I have Many options after mulliganing to so many cards deep here. Oh well. Definitely not a matchup we wanted to see. They should have turn one fast. Oh, they have turn one crop rotation. Really annoying. Kind of have to hit exactly cradle on our draw. Guess we can hit Yavamaya or Wasteland as well. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but it certainly helps. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Maybe I have to keep in vigor just because of Saga. <laughs> They're going to go like land, loam, play tabernacle. Yeah, this is not playable matchup, huh? All right, let's just go play real magic. Okay, here we go. <laughs> let's go play against the P9. Uh, might be on PO, might be on Breach. We'll see what happens. This hand has... You know what? I actually think this hand might be keepable against P9 with Force, Oof. I kind of think it is. Could be wrong. I did hit Bizarre Baghdad, so... That probably helps a lot. <laughs> Rootwalla, Rootwalla, one of the Vigors, then play Lotus, holding open Vigor... I guess you play Collector Roof. Lotus oof. So get rid of Basaju. Lotus oof. Hold up Vigor. I 
I think this hand was fine even without Bizarre, but it definitely got a lot better with Bizarre. Okay. Hell of a draw. What do you have for me, Justin? Nah. We power through. <laughs> ah, great success yes this has definitely been a league of magic the gathering if i had to say so all right i'm gonna say that we're probably pre-boarded for whatever p9 has in store for us i guess i will bring in some mind break traps um i don't i don't know what to take out maybe i'll take out a hogak and a once upon a time Maybe I can take out a Rootwalla. Doesn't feel like I need a Hogak versus whatever P9 is going to be doing. Maybe the answer is just Hogaks. Hmm. I don't know. Have we played like <laughs> oh, these matches have been so vintage. All right. Now P9 gets to be on the play. Any tinkers? What are we going to stream? What are we going to play tomorrow, chat? This is a Hand of Magic the Gathering cards. Probably something crazy, because I think I'm all through donation deck list after this one. Ah, uh, yeah, you get to see just how good this hand... This hand is nuts. This hand is Besaju, Vigor, Collective Roof, Bizarre, Vengevine, Hollow One. Like, what is this draw? This has got to be pretty close to the best seven, uh, best seven I can have, right? It's, it's, it's fairly, fairly close. All right. I mean, we probably hit this with a vigor pitching a collector. I would think. I don't think it would make sense to pitch the vine. Well, it makes sense to pitch the vine if they have a force, right? So maybe we should just pitch the vine. Hmm. Definitely... I don't think I play around Tabby. I don't think I'm going to play around Tabernacle. I, I have a negative poker face for sure. Definitely one of my flaws as a paper magician. Okay, second needle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. PO maybe? For three? No. Oh, now they can't, now they can't even tabernacle me. <laughs> oh, I probably should have done this pre-combat. What are these draws? These are the best possible draws in the entire deck. They can't tabernacle me and they can't PO anymore. 
I mean, what is going on? They can go land Tinker. Oh yeah, that was that was not remotely close. That was definitely the power of Bazaar of Baghdad. There right, you go. Here, fifth and final round with this um, new Bazaar deck here. It's been very explosive. I do think we've drawn on the uh, upper end of the variance scale, but we'll have to see. Well, I think maybe the nice part about this deck is it doesn't use the graveyard, right? Like, technically, it uses the graveyard for Vengevine and kind of Hogak, but doesn't really need the graveyard at all. Luris. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this is either Mono White or it's um, the Jeskai deck. Both are matchup. I, well, I'd really like to play against the Jeskai deck because Hex Drinkers should be pretty interesting there. Oh, I guess it could be four color standstill, yeah. That's true too. Nope, nope, mono white. Sure. The question is I don't think I care, but I can just vigor this pearl. I mean, there's a there's a pearl right there for me to vigor. I think I'm still gonna vigor though. I was hoping to play against Jeskai or a four color standstill. I think those would have been more interesting matches I can glean more things out of. I am gonna vigor this pearl though, just feels reasonable. Oh, you had Path to Exile? Why wouldn't you play it on this Vengevine? Okay. So me hitting the Pearl here means they don't get to play a 2-drop, which is nice. Holy moly. These draws are just... Quite unbelievable. It's an interesting looking land. Ghost quarter. Oh, all right, yeah. Um, don't think I need to attack with the Ruas. I don't really think I gain a huge advantage by doing so. Uh, they have one card left. Mm hmm I am 
running on all cylinders right now. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous, actually. It's actually kind of just completely ridiculous. All right, so we get to bring in Endurance and Hex Shrinker. Um, we will take out Chalice and Vigor and Shepherd. Well, maybe we keep some Vigors in that gets the Spirit. Bring in this Forest for sure. Eh, maybe not. Just play with Hex Shrinkers and Endurances. I don't think Locked Roof is, like, bad by any means. Let me just do this. Sh sure. Why not? I wonder if this time we have to play around Tabernacle, though, by, like, playing Wasteland first turn. That kind of leans us into getting hit by Spear to the Labyrinth, though, which I don't really want to do. I don't think I'm supposed to play around it. I don't know. Maybe I, I, I definitely... Wow. All right. I'm playing around it anyways. What the... F what are these draws? What what is happening? <laughs> this deck is completely unbeatable if you're gonna draw like this. Look at this complete nonsense. <laughs> yeah, Bizarre Baghdad, fair and balanced Magic the Gathering card for sure. They're even going to give us a nice force. I'll just play around Tabby by playing my Black Lotus out. And then we're just... We're not playing the same format, basically. I don't know how people can continue to justify playing these mono white Luris decks. I don't know. Doesn't feel right to me. And that's a good one. Nice. Is it? I mean, it's it's not bad. You ever just Black Lotus out of Vengevine? I mean... <laughs> besides the match where we had 0% chance to win, playing against FastBond.deck, we basically crushed everybody else, and it wasn't particularly close. And the Shepherd did nothing, and the Hex Shrinker did nothing. The rest of the deck, and the, even the Collector Roof barely did anything. I just drew, like, very high end of variance and murdered everyone with Bazaar of Baghdad. So, we, we, I basically learned absolutely nothing. Which, I don't know. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> uh i'm unfortunately I, we didn't really answer any of the questions we entered this league with but um i appreciate the donation from chalky as always they're awesome supporter of the stream and they 
post really awesome YouTube comments featuring very long dissections of all the things I could have possibly ever done wrong. <laughs> uh, if you, like Shalky, want to see your list played on my channel, you can check out the Patreon link in the description below or the exclamation mark Patreon in the YouTube chat. Uh, not the YouTube chat. There's no YouTube chat. The Twitch chat. Uh, and new videos come out on the YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern. I will see you in the next video.